महाराज की जय शिव हम ओम अखंड मंडलाकार व्याप्त ये नरा चर तत्म दर्शित परमानंद सदु ओम गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरुदेव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम ध्यान मूल गुरुमूर्ति पूजा मूल गुरुपद मंत्रूल गुरुर्वाक्यम मोक्ष मूल गुरु कृपा सदगुरु भगवान की जय स्वामी जी महाराज की जय शिवो हम टुडे बाय द ग्रेस ऑफ यूनिवर्सल मास्टर सच्चिदानंद परमात्मा वी आर टेकिंग द नाइन स्टेंजा ऑफ श्रीमद भगवत गीता चैप्टर 15 पुरुषोत्तम योगा इन दिस स्टेंजा द कृष्ण इज टेलिंग अबाउट माइंड एंड द सेंसेस माइक्रो सेंसेस ऑर्गन्स by these instruments uh, the jivatma avail different type of pleasure and many experiences shrotam chakshu isparshanam ch rasnam ghranameva ch अधिष्ठा मन विषयानुपसेवते श्रोत चक्षु स्पर्शन च रसन घ्राण अधिष्ठा मना च अथम विषयान उपसेवते मन च अयम विश्वा विषयान उपसेवते माय डियर अर्जुन एंड इन दैट बॉडी स्टेबल इन दैट बॉडी द नेक्स्ट बॉडी एंड अया अयम इट मींस दिस जीवा श्रोतम इट मींस बाय द इयर चक्षु इट मींस आई च इट मींस एंड स्पर्शम इट मींस टचेबिलिटी ऑफ स्किन रस rasna it means uh, the tongue grana it means the nose cha it means and mana it means antah karna adishthaya it means uh, by the help of these एव इट मींस ओनली विषयान इट मींस ऑफ सब्जेक्ट ऑफ सेंसरी ऑर्गन्स इनपुट्स उपसेवते इट मींस एवेल्स माय डियर अर्जुन व्हेन द जीवात्मा गोज अनदर बॉडी इन दैट बॉडी he stay and uh, that jivatma avail different type of sensory experience and the pleasures and pains everything 
by the skin by the tongue by the nose by the eye and uh, mind both these all things he takes the help of these all things and by the help of these he avail the sensory feelings pain or pleasure everything this is the message of lord krishna he want to show arjuna how the one birth to another birth the jivas go and why he goes why he take birth my disciple hana ask me today that why he goes to burn birth to another birth as the seven stanza the lord krishna say to arjuna that jivatma he is the really form of the existence but unfortunately he attract the mind and five senses from the nature and he play with them so we say the world is the play of the god this is this type of play he play with them and in this playing <laughs> he forget his real existing existing form and in this playing he involved with the mind and the sensory organs or sensory micro powers because they are called tanmatra he forget his purest form and he mesmerize and the combination of this natural mind and the five senses micro tanmatras they makes a mesmerism to the jivatma and that jivatma is become like air bubble the bubble is covered by the film of the water this type this jivatma is covered by the film of the maya even that what that water film really covered the air but here is only the illusion not covering and then the jivatma feel as a sleep as a agyana as a ignorance as a mis misunderstanding as a for forgot his memory forget his memory so what is happening the exactly happening that as you are sleeping in the bed and one by one dreams comes and goes comes and goes so dreams it means here the birth and death birth and death that is the dreams here and what is happening when this jivatma leave a body because body has its expiry date its time limit but jivatma is not expiry date jivatma is the form of the existence so he is immortal so when the jivatma leaves a one body he took his all main main power so that mind that uh, intellect that ego that uh, mood that uh, 
capability of uh, I and ER and and so and so and so. And what has happened? He enter in another body, so he take all this instrument with him. And then, in the next birth, he arrange all this instrument, bell, as he burnt, and he avail again. All the sensory feelings, all the inputs and outputs. My dear friend, these are the instrument of the Jivatma. As you, as I am, I am bearing this uh, of spectacle. This is an instrument. You can feel that this is like the micro cap, micro eye. You can you can uh, see that it is the micro eye, like a micro eye. So this Jivatma. Take this type of instruments. You can see the hearing aid also. So that, that is a hearing aid you can see uh, that can be seen by the eye because that is the instrument. But these instruments is very micro, nobody can see them. So Divatma goes to another body with the these five sensory micro powers and man, one man, mind. Now mind has all four chambers. Because that Krishna is only indicating one word, mind. Mind has four chambers. Mind, one, intellect, two, mood, three, and ego, four. That is, the, that is called a... Uh, Actually, that is called antahakarna, that is internal senses. So, the mainly, Jivatma has three departments. One department is the vahakarna, the outer senses, that is called five senses. One is micro eye, yeah. a sight, you can see the sight, tanmatra. Second is Olfactory, it means the nose. Third is the earring aid, yeah, earring capacity. Fourth is the tongue, that is the touching, cap, uh, sorry, that is the tasting capacity. A five is the skin, the touching capacity. These are outer sensory organs, uh, seeds. And four is internal sensory organ seed. One is mind, second is intellect. Third is mood and fourth is ego. These five plus four is equal to nine. These nine things, they are called, they are divided in two parts. One is the micro body and second is the casual body. So the one is the micro body. That is called five sensory organs outer and three sensory organs inner. Five and three, eight. These are called the micro body. And one alone that is called the ego. That is the casual body. Because the ego is the governing factor of all these eight. So these two sheathings on the jiva. One sheet of the ego. That is inner sheath and very hard. And second sheath is called the micro body. And now he enter in the another body. So that physical body is the third body. But Jivatma never attached with physical body so hardly then he attached the Micro body is more harder and the casual body is the most harder. Because the micro body and the casual body, they are goes in body to body, body to body, death and birth cycle. 
my dear friends the krishna is teaching to arjuna about this uh, most spiritual phenomena is the yama teach the nachiketa the same thing so the jivatma want to avail different type of the subject of the matter by the nature and he want to enjoy them so these apparatus he need so these apparatus they can achieve the aliveness or consciousness from the jivatma because jivatma is a pure soul you can see the mirror can only shine by the sunlight or the moonlight mirror can not itself shine so the jivatma is the base of all consciousness of these nine things my dear friend these nine things has there a big big and biggest spectrum bigger departments and the hunger and desires they are millions desires in every department if a person i want to tell only one here if a person is uh, eating something testing by the term testing part so by there is the millions type of the food in 84 million birth you can see the human in the world their their food habits are so different only one birth human birth their food habits are too much different some bear they eat cockroach also i read in newspaper in the bihar a particular area of bihar they are eating the rats in the africa kenya in the america in the new zealand in the alaska in the arab in the afghanistan in the tibet in the burma malaysia malaya and all the countries if you see the food habit you cannot even the right books about the food habits of the human on this planet you can read and you can write volumes and volumes books only about the food habit of only one human then how can you write how can you know how can you imagine 84 millions worth and death oh, sorry any and 84 millions lives their food habits so the food habit it's a very big department the seeing like and dislike it uh, itself also a very big department and hearing the music itself a very big department and the languages has a very big department and the speaking capacity of different type of animals they have the very big department the words is speak the crow is speak the vulture is speak the fish is speak the cattle is speak the loin is speak that is very big department so in the five senses the nose the millions type of the smell the animals can accept uh, can feel accept and million types of smell for human also 
so that every sensory organs has a bigger, biggest spectrum, biggest departments, biggest subjects. So this type of five sensory organs, they are so much mesmerizing, they have so much effect, they have very big, big effect, they have uncountable effect. And when a, when a Jivatma goes one to other birth, that illusion becomes harder and harder, harder and harder, because every birth leaves or writes some impression on the micro body of that Jivatma. Every sensory organs accumulating the different type of experience in the micro signals in this Jivatmas to sheath. So the desires, hungers, likings, dislikings, impressions, experiences, Pains, fears, sorrows, they are accumulated in this micro body and the food habit, the seeing habit, the hearing habit, the touching habit, the tasting habit, the he many many habits, they are accumulated in the micro body. So you can easily if you are an enlightened person, you can see a person and you can give the conclusion which birth he is coming or she is coming. So my dear friend, if you want to cut this network of 84 million death and birth and that 84 million death of birth the person, the, that Jivatma is revised many, many times in many, many births. So the totality of the birth is uncountable. It comes not in million, it comes in the billion. So these billions birth and billions births, billions into billions impressions and that unsatisfied desires they are make a very very big mountain inside my uh, without you cannot see that mountain that invisible mountain that desire cannot be satisfied in any me. So Guru Nanak says, Bhukya bhuk na jave, chayab khave puriya bhaar. Only the eating habits cannot satisfy. So these are, these all five sensory organs and all three internal organs hungers and insaturity, uh, unsaturations and uh, that these unfulfilled desires, uh, they are make a big mountain of the sorrow and that mountain of sorrow release sometime unevenly and unprincipally and no any rule which desire come out of the jiva and which which birth he will be take so the availing of the sensory hungers the jivatma feel pleasure and unavailing or not avail available if they are demand, the Jivatma feel the sorrow and pain. 
and that is you but how can get liberation my dear friend you you think yourself if there is a billion type of the desires if there is a billion types of the unsaturated conditions if there are the billion type of the experience of the pain and pleasure how can that jivatma can be enlightened or can be take the ultimate liberation it is impossible it is impossible by himself because he is completely mesmerized he is completely hypnotized he is completely in illusion he is completely in the dark sleep of the maya so there is only one way is remaining if a person who is break the sheet of the micro body and the causal body and he is the free soul and he is the enlightened soul and if he help that person as you know if the many many person is sleeping the sleeping person cannot awake to another sleep person only a awakened person can awake the hundreds and thousand sleeping person so that is the guru because the guru is awake in the existence that is the sad guru so only sad guru can break the sheet of the maya only sad guru can break the prison break, break the jail of the jivatma the micro body and the casual and there is only one way of breaking this sheet that is called awareness and awareness comes from the sakshi and what is the sakshi sakshi is the developing developing to see and aware to see and aware so one by one when a person comes in this awareness this awareness make a very very stronger a weapon to cut these all things and when a person do the sakshi continuously he enter in the meditation and then if the meditation is occur meditation is stand there is no need to cut one by one because there the after the meditation the fire is coming and what is that fire that fire of the atma gyan the fire of awakeness the fire of the deep meditation the fire of uh, the grace of your master that fire is comes after the meditation that is called bhan avastha that is called the gyana that is called the supreme knowledge of liberation that is called the atma gyana so when that atma gyana or this type of uh, power comes there is no need to cut one by one at, at randomly all the maya destroy with one effort that is called the phenomena is occur that is called the ghatna that is called the enlightenment that is called the atma gyana that is called the sakshatkar that is called the guru krupa that is called the jivan mukti that is called the buddhatva my dear friend understanding understand this thing very carefully listen carefully you cannot cut this maya by only your effort no it it is not possible not possible that dream can awake person 
The dream brings another, another dream, and dream brings another dream. The anesthesia regularly given to you by the Maya. So my dear friend, that's why I am teaching the Sakshi meditation to my seekers. And while I am teaching the Sakshi meditation, I am teaching the Sakshi meditation, they can enter in the real meditation. And that meditation is the biggest instrument of the self-realization. The real meditation, there you can see the mind, and mind is completely disappear, mind, intellect. You are sitting very sound and you are sitting very cool and you are sitting in the stability you are sitting in. A spin drop silence inside. That is real meditation. And when you stay in this real meditation, when you eat in real meditation, when you dance in real meditation, when you, when you walk in real meditation, when you talk in real meditation, when you walk in real meditation, your life covered by the meditation, and that is called the Sahaja Samadhi of the Kavira has described. And what will be happen? And ultimately, the happen is that, and your Jivatma will be free from this type of illusion and you are awoken and as you awoke your existence, as you awoke your existence. But don't be care, eh, sorry, don't be buried. I am with you, not for this birth. I am with you for many, many births past and many, many births in future. Because my body will not remain, but the Guru power, another Guru will come, physical body Guru will come, and they will help you in every birth. If you are honestly born to liberation, then what will be happen? Uh, if you are fail in the enlightenment, getting enlightenment, don't worry. Even you are fail to get enlightenment, but if you do the sakshi, you will be become tensorless person, and you can enjoy this life very well, because if you have no tension, no worried, there is n there not will be the tension created diseases in your life like the angina, blood pressure, heart attack, diabetes, mental diseases, schizophrenia, meningenia, uh, fears, and many, many things, Co uh, phobias, many, many things. They will not touch you, they will not come in your life. So comparatively you are very happy person to comparison of other persons. And maximum person, if they do the meditation of Sarchi, they will be become pleasant, they will be become happy, they will be become loving. So, we can eradicate unnecessary mental and physical diseases, which is created by the tensions, fears, and dilemmas and worries. So we will be eradicate the worries, tensions, dilemmas, misunderstanding from this earth. And this earth will be become like heaven. Person will not fight each other. Person not become the selfish. They are cooperating because they know the tricks of the mind, because they know the cunningness of the intellect. Because they will not come the ego, because they can see the when the anger is coming, they can see and save, save from anger. The unnecessary lust will come, they can see that lust and they can save them from that lust. They will not use their body for the sex or any 
type of the enjoyment they use only their body for creating the generations better and better so everything will be okay everything will be torn up so be say our mission is the world peace by the meditation we want to give this world peace we want to give this world tensionlessness we want to give this world worriedlessness we want to give this world fearlessness we want to eradicate the negativity of hate we want to eradicate greediness we want to eradicate the violence against one human to another we want to make this world non violence world loving world cooperating world and it can be possible only by the awareness if you have no awareness then you can put your feet on another's nose if you are aware you can not put even your feet on another cloth so this is a miraculous meditation the sakshi meditation is the miraculous meditation it is the meditation of awareness and it is the meditation to make all mankind tenseless worriedness fearless and it provide to everyone peace happiness pleasure and love and if you are really meditator you are a real seeker you can also get the liberation ultimate liberation you can cross the death and birth cycle you will be become existence and for this i need many many disciples i want to make them master and why i want to spread them all over the world as you know that a medical college produce every year some doctors and the doctors goes to blaze and blaze and cities and cities and they treat the ill persons and give them health like this i want to make the doctor of peace the doctor of meditation the doctor of giving others happiness and love so for this the master making process we need the real seekers and i want to send them all over the world and i want seekers from all over the world because in this country seeker cannot go to another country it is most expensive and unapplicable so the every country person they if if they learn this meditation they can learn to other person and we can make this planet very peaceful and very loving and without crime and no greediness and no any negativity i think that ideal condition one day will come then no need of the atomic weapons no need of the tanks no need of the nuclear missiles no need of the warships no need of the war fighter jets and other and other and there is there will not be problem of any ter terrorist activity and others because the person who do not know what he is doing and what he is thinking because the god existence is living everywhere and everyone and we are all the sons and the daughters of the god how can we kill each other how can we give pain each other because we are the same love and the light my dear friend i request you please if you like my my discourse please subscribe my videos
and spread them all over the world as you can and please if you like my teachings and my real love for all of you please join my mission and that is the world peace by meditation i am your heart you are my heart i love all of you very much thank you very much love you very much bless you very much we are one